friends, today we're gonna be drawing a scorpion. Yeah, it's a super realistic scorpion. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We hope you're excited and you're gonna follow along with us. You need a marker and some paper. Paper. <laughs> Ready to start? Yeah. We're gonna start by drawing our scorpion's legs and the pinchers. So we're gonna start by drawing the pincher first. We're gonna draw it right here in the bottom left of our paper so we have a ton of room for his body and his tail. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a backwards C or sideways U. Yeah. Now on the end, we're gonna turn this into the pincher so we're gonna curl it up at the end. Cool, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna draw a big S line back. See how it curves one way and then back the other. Yeah, now we're gonna draw the bottom of the pincher. We're gonna come out and curl up just like we did on the top part. And then we're gonna come back for the pincher. That's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Your pincher looks awesome. Now we're gonna draw the arm coming back to the body. So we're gonna draw a big shape that comes up and back. Almost looks like a U that's connected to the pincher. Then we're gonna draw it bending forward and we're gonna draw kind of that same shape. See how it looks the same but going the other direction. Now right here on the end, we're gonna draw another, it's kind of a half circle. Yeah, okay, now we got the first arm with the pincher done. We're gonna draw the second leg or the first leg actually, and we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw another U shape that comes out coming backwards. Then we're gonna draw another U shape coming forward and we're drawing them kind of thin. Then we're gonna draw the long part of the leg. It's gonna come out and down. See how it curves right at the end? Yeah. And then we're gonna come back. This one's really skinny. Now we're gonna draw the second leg and we're gonna draw it aimed up a little more. So we're gonna draw that same kind of shape. Get to practice, don't we? Drawing the same segments for each of the legs. So now we're gonna draw it bending down. Then we're gonna draw the skinny part coming forward. And then we'll draw it curving back. Cool, now right at the end, let's draw another small little foot sticking backwards. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw the last leg and we're gonna draw it overlapping. So we're gonna draw a part that comes back like this and then back in. Yeah, it's right under this leg. Now we're gonna draw it bending up. So we're gonna draw it coming up. And I like the second leg. And then we're gonna draw the next segment coming back. Now we need to draw that skinny part, the skinny part of the leg coming down. Oh, it's looking so creepy. And then we're gonna draw it coming back up. And we can draw that little foot just like we did on that second leg, aimed back, backwards. Cool, we did it. Now we drew the front legs. We're gonna draw the back legs after we do the body. So let's draw the bot, the big main part of the body first. We're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a curve that comes up, it's gonna come back, and then it's gonna stop into that last leg. Oh, whoops. That's all right. Curve it back down into, into the knee or the bend in the leg. Yeah, that's okay, right? Yeah, square yeah. butt. <laughs> square butt. <laughs> now, if our art friends do that at home, they can curve it down just like you. All right, now let's draw the tail. We're gonna start down here where this third leg starts. So we're gonna curve, we're gonna draw a line and we're gonna imagine it going behind all of the other legs. And I'm curving it up. So now we're gonna draw the tail curved up like this. Looks like a sideways U or a backwards C. Oh, that looks so cool, man. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Now, we're, next we're gonna draw all the segments for the tail, and the tail looks really disgusting. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then curves down like that. And you could do the same thing. Let's start down here though, and curve. And your tail might be a little, a lot thicker than mine, but that's okay. Cool, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw another shape, it comes up and curves down into that line. 
And we're going to do one more right here on the side. And we're going to do another one curving up. And then we got one last one right here. This one's kind of big. So we're going to draw a curve that comes up and then connects at the end of that U. Cool. Now in between each of these segments, we're going to add another little detail. I'm going to draw a line that comes back on each of those segments. Now we're going to add segments also to the body. It looks like they they have armor on their back. So we're going to draw a line that goes down and separates the body. And we can go all the way down the body. Now see this part right here, I drew it on the underside of the leg. Yeah, so that line goes behind the leg. Perfect. Now we need to draw the pincher and the legs on the back of our scorpion so it looks 3D. We're going to draw that same shape right here, the same pincher, and we can draw it behind the head. So we're going to draw a curve like this, and then we're going to imagine it going behind the head and coming underneath. Yeah, now we're going to draw that curve. The next step, just like we did down here, it curves up. And then we're going to draw the S line that comes down and into the bottom part of that U. Yeah, now let's draw the bottom pincher. We're going to draw it curving up. And then we're going to draw it curving back. Now we're going to draw this leg or the arm that's connected to the pincher, we're just going to draw it coming back like this and then curving into the body. Then we can draw it coming back. We're going to draw another line coming back into the body. Now we're going to draw this leg, the second leg. The first leg is behind the body and you can't really see it, but the second leg is bent up high. So we're going to draw coming up like this and then back down. Yeah, and then we're going to draw this part coming back down also. And I'm going to draw another shorter line right next to it. Now let's draw that last leg that's sticking out right here. We're going to draw another curve that comes up just like this one. And then we're going to draw those two lines coming down. Now down here underneath the body, maybe you can see these last two legs just barely. So I'm going to draw two little lines sticking out and we can connect them. And then let's also draw that little foot coming back. And then we can do the same thing for the last leg over here. Just draw two lines that are connected at the bottom and then that little foot sticking out the back. Wow, now that looks really 3D. You can, yeah. you can tell that there's legs behind the body. Now up here on the front, let's draw the head or the, the eyes. I'm not sure they're the eyes. I think they're the mouth. I'm gonna draw two little bumps. It's like a backwards three. Now we need to add a few more details. Let's add the eyes. There's two oh, creepy eyes. They're on top of the body. That's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> then we can also draw, let's draw one more leg or two more legs up here. So we're gonna draw them really small. We're gonna draw like that, a little U shape. And then we're gonna draw another one coming forward. And then we're going to draw a little foot right on the end. Now let's repeat those same steps right next to it. We're going to draw another U shape, then that longer segment, and then a little foot <laughs> right on the end. And these things are so gross. Yeah. <laughs> now this little backwards three right here is the mouth or it's the, the mouth parts, the gross parts. <laughs> Now, what are we missing on our scorpion? The pointy part. The pointy part, the stinger, the, the, stinger. the scariest part of the whole thing. First, we're going to draw just a little, a little sideways U. Then we're going to draw a big curve coming this way. Yeah. Now we're going to draw a smaller curve going the opposite direction and see how it's shorter. Because this part's going to make the stinger right here. We're going to connect it in for the stinger. The scary part. Well, the pinchers are pretty scary too. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, dude. We finished drawing our scorpion and it looks awesome. Except it's going to look even cooler once we do what? Color it. Yeah. 
We're gonna fast forward this part, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. Good job, Jack. You did awesome on coloring your scorpion. He turned out really cool. Yeah. You'll be super proud of him. Now, you guys can pause the video right now to match the same coloring. I hope you're gonna take time to color your drawings because it looks so much better colored in. Now, we used our yellow to color the scorpion completely solid first. Then we used our red and orange to shade the tail and also the pinchers and the legs. Then we used brown and black to shade the body. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your scorpions. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your scorpions with us. Now, it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours. Ours look different. Yeah. And that's okay because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to... Practice. Practice and do your best. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye! If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.